Hi everyone, uh, my name is Luis. I'm the business development manager for BenQ in Europe and uh, welcome here to the BenQ booth at ISC 2020. So ISC 2020 is a very important uh, conference for you? For yeah, yeah, of course, obviously this is the, the biggest uh, integration and audiovisual show uh, in Europe and even worldwide nowadays. So definitely we have to be here and show all our latest products and latest this technologies. This is huge and it's actually interactive? This is interactive, yeah. We have a solution uh, using proximity sensors and, uh, and basically every time you get to touch the proximity sensor, it triggers a signal and the pictures are changing, like you can see here. Where is the proximity sensor? It's just behind the screen. It will pop up. You cannot see it, but yeah, this is so located it's not capacitive. here. No, it's proximity sensor. So it's, it can sense that there is something in front and just triggers a signal to change the contents of the immersive solution. Nice. Is this uh, just only for ISE 2020 or do you have customers doing this? Customers are doing this already in, in, uh, in, simula in uh, not simulation, in museums. They are already having these kind of solutions and, uh, and definitely the new uh, projectors using laser technology can definitely help to, uh, to have better and long-lasting uh, solutions using uh, projection. Because up there we look, we're seeing some uh, short throw, some nice big ones. So what we are have, yeah, th those are our 10,000 uh, one-chip DLP laser, wide UXGA resolution and using uh, ultra short throw lens, 0 0.23 ratio. All right. And um, in this side, yeah. Over here you have lots of other stuff. Yeah, so here. We have uh, our latest product that is a 4K, to 4K resolution uh, using a short throw lens 0.8 to 0.88 so uh, with a small zoom which is very convenient for installations and uh, this is quite compact product with a 5000 lumen and 4K resolution. And uh, we are also showing here our uh, wireless presentation system that is using Buttons directly connected to laptop, and we are we are showcasing here the the, the coming new button using USB-C uh, inputs to uh, cast directly using wireless technology to the projector. What is the wireless technology? Is it just using the Wi-Fi spectrum, or this is just using the Wi-Fi? This is the we use the two uh, two uh, bandwidth, the 2.4 gigahertz, but also the 5 gigahertz. So depending on the on the how can I say on the environment where those products are installed. These products can select the, the right channel where the, the, there is less is less interference to make sure the signal is transferred in a... Is in it a, a mirror cast? No, no, this is a Wi-Fi, this is in-house technology, so not using any software, everything is hardware. And uh, there is a, a connection between the, the button that is a kind of... Uh, Coding and decoding the signal getting out of the of the USB-C uh, inputs, and we have a receiver connected to the projector that is then decoding the information and sending it directly to the projector using the, the just an HDMI cable. Nice. Is, is this using Display Link uh, uh, yes. technology? Yes. This is the USB-C new technology that we are we are we will launch uh, in the next summer. And, uh, and uh, we are showcasing here the first, uh, the first prototypes that have been developed. And you can see clearly that, let me show you the casting. Just pressing the button and it's, it's casting automatically on the screen. 4K? 4K resolution, yes. Even video, full, full frame rate for video? Yeah. So it's compressing the video and sending it over the Wi-Fi? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it, it could be better to have a cable also for the, for the, the video or no? It could be better, of course, because uh, displaying uh, uh, 4K contents, particularly using Wi-Fi, it creates a lot of, let's say, uh, electronic uh, decoding and encoding, which is delaying you a little bit the signal. But, uh, but for meeting room applications, I'm not talking about home cinema, but for meeting room applications, this is definitely the best, the best solution in the market so far to show still images, but also videos. And it's perfect for presentations. Exactly, yeah. All right, and uh, it's a good price for this system? So uh, we have uh, three different models that you can see at the top here on yeah, the top shelf. Is there a different shop in there? 
So from from left to right, yeah. Uh, so this is the, the the entry model generation using HDMI type of buttons, and uh, the cost of this product is around uh, 999 euros without VAT. So you get three of them, in and there? and you get one receiver that is connected to the to a projector or large format display using HDMI outputs, and it comes together with a cradle and two buttons inside. So this one is the HDMI solution and this is just getting the video signal from the laptop for example and the USB is only used to power the button it's not used for any software uh, installation or software uh, um, usage uh, for this solution and type C it can do too so we have the same so this is the same uh, uh, solution but it's using a type C buttons so this is the the next generation that we launched already six months ago you have to use a display port yeah uh, display video output exactly yeah so it's not using display link from any type C port right it's it's basically you are you you need the video coming from the display port but the, the benefit of the USB-C is you, you can get also the power. So instead of having two cables, one for USB power and one for the video signal, everything is embedded in the USB-C input. So you, at the end, you only have one cable, which is more, let's say, practical on the daily uh, daily life uh, in meeting rooms. And the latest generation is uh, WDC20. Uh, this one has additional features, like you can split the screen in four to have four different images on the screen. Uh, you also have the possibility to install an application on Android phones to cast directly your uh, your contents on a phone or a tablet, and uh, it's also uh, compatible with AirPlay. So for iOS kind of system, you can also display directly from tablet or, or smartphone uh, your contents to the to so the it's receiver. It's like a Miracast and AirPlay kind of. Yeah, uh, exactly. Support. For this one, yes. And those big ones we see are under here. What, is, what market is this? So this market basically is. Uh, is more for uh, installation for bigger size uh, images because we this kind of product can go up to 8,000 lumens so for bigger images this is better to have bigger image and uh, and uh, those all the bank all the new BenQ products are now using laser technology so uh, having DLP so BenQ just for reference is the number one DLP brand in the world and uh, this is the, a long-lasting technology and having now the laser uh, uh, light source together with it we have products that can last for a very long time uh, without changing anything uh, not even the lamps because laser technology can last up to 20,000 hours in full power but if you reduce the, the brightness it can uh, it can go up to uh, 60,000 hours of usage so is this new to do laser in this kind of market no it's it's like it started around two three years ago but technology is now much much more major so uh, all the new products that you will see not only in BenQ will come using this uh, this new technology of, uh, of light source because for the consumer market there's a lot of LED light source happening yeah you cannot use LED for a big one the the, the technology of LED is not able at the moment to reach uh, brightness above let's say 4,000 lumens maximum so that's why laser is uh, is used for the higher brightness products because you can reach much much higher brightness levels up to can be even 50k thousand lumen it's possible today are you planning to do this there is no plan for for this year regarding this kind of product so far it's only Panasonic right only Panasonic true and one is probably costing fifty thousand dollars or how much is that uh, how much uh, how much is the price for these kind of projectors uh, for example I, I believe today uh, of course the laser technology because it's a new technology is a bit more expensive than the lens technology but we are getting more and more I mean for the products above 5,000 lumen we are getting more and more around one euro for one lumen more or less wow. in terms of pricing nice and uh, that one there it's called the uh, LX953. The LK953 ST is the 4K 5000 lumen laser uh, using a short throw lens, 0 0.8 to 0 0.88 this ratio. This is probably going to be a hot selling product, right? This is, and we, we have already some, uh, some demands on this product from some specific applications because 
For example, in simulation or in immersive uh, situations like in museums, the working environment is, 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 is quite uh, narrow and they cannot install big products with, uh, with big lenses. So what they need is products with a compact chassis, but also having in very interesting short throw lenses. And this kind of product is, uh, is very uh, well expected by, by this kind What's of uh, people. What's the ratio of the short? 0.8 to 0 0.88. So this, you have a small zoom that is also enabling to have a very uh, more, more conveniency to, to install the products. Usually you have lenses with 0 0.8, fixed lens so you just can move the product but with a small zoom you have more flexibility for the installation. And you're showing an in interesting installation using this yeah, projector, so the, right? This one here is the same as we just explained and uh, we are using here an application of, uh, of mapping on a, on a puppet uh, because the, the theme here in ISC in Ben Cubus is about skydiving. So this is, uh, this is uh, one of the applications that we, uh, we created to show uh, in real application our products. Uh, so there's, um, how does it map? Uh, do you combine this with cameras or? No, basically this is using the, the Watchout uh, software, uh, Watchout video server, to create uh, in, uh, in, uh, in three dimensions the, the shape of the puppet. And then this uh, this uh, this video server is sending the different uh, pictures and different angles to every uh, of the projectors that are installed here in this application. So you have it uh, ready to be tilted in any kind of direction. Exactly, any kind upright. of position, 360 degrees, any position. Those products can do this kind of things that the previous technology, the lamp-based technology, was not able to do. So with the laser, we can also have new ways of uh, displaying images and different formats. So here, the skydiving theme, you have another bunch of stuff you're showing. Uh, then. We also have solutions about, uh, about uh, signage solutions and uh, we have some very interesting new products like this one. Bar type product that is very interesting to, to install on shelves for example. And the particularity of this screen is that this one is in interactive. So you can, also have, yeah, you can also have some more interaction with the, with the customers. And uh, this is unique also in the market. No, no other brand can, uh, can propose this kind of solution. It's LCD? This is LCD technology, yeah. The LCD capacitive panels. Capacitive touch? Uh, no, uh, this one is in glass touch. In glass? Yeah. Okay. And uh, maybe another one just to highlight also yeah. the, the, the signage solutions that we are uh, showcasing here in ISC. We also have this very interesting format of, uh, of LCD screen. And it's a bar type, what we call stretch display, but dual sided. So you can have uh, in both directions information that can be the same, but that can be also different uh, according to, uh, to what uh, the customer wants to convey as communication. So another LCD, and you also tilt it over there, is that the same one? This is the same one, yeah. yeah. All right. And at the booth, you're also showing different kind of projectors you have for the education. Yeah. We have projectors for education. So, we are also showcasing here, uh, again using laser technology, we have here uh, ultra short throw projectors, 4000 lumen, same 0 0.23 throw ratio. Uh, and this is meant for education, of course, because nowadays the teachers uh, definitely prefer to have no shadow on the screen when they, when they uh, are working on, uh, on their presentations. Or even we have solutions to make the picture interactive, so the teachers can also have uh, interactive content to display and show to the, to the students. So what's the considerations when you do uh, education market projectors? Has to be uh, visible from the back of the room? Yeah, that, that's the benefit also of, of projector. If uh, we are also selling large format displays, but the benefit of projectors is that you can have bigger screens. And uh, depending on the size of the classroom, sometimes a 65 or 75 inch screen uh, is a bit small for all the students, particularly the ones at the back. So with a projector, we can go up to 120 inch uh, size of image, so everybody can clearly see the contents from any position in the in the classroom. So you show some uh, education solutions here? Yeah, we have here also uh, uh, three different types. So the, the one on the left, and the one on the right are uh, what we call IFP, interactive flat panel. And uh, they are using infrared technology. This is an 86 inch 
Uh, and uh, we have also, uh, this is a smart screen, so we have Android system embedded inside, but we can also have uh, an OPS slot to have additional uh, Windows compatibility. And uh, we have solution about software. Okay. So the teachers can use this technology also to, uh, to have more interactivity in terms of contents and in terms of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, teaching methods when they talk to children. And definitely the youngest uh, or the younger generation, uh, they, they grow with tablets. So for them, having touch solutions is definitely normal and natural. So uh, the technology is following this kind of trend. So it's large LCDs with, um, with infrared touch. Infrared touch, yeah. And, and then uh, uh, Android built-in. Android built-in and also possibility to slot in an OPS PC. So we can also extend to Windows type what of applications. What does this Android do? Does it do a whole bunch of stuff? Yeah. It's so custom. Customized. So this is the launcher where you have from the start you also have the possibility to cast uh, without uh, cables. So we have a, a software called InstaShare that can be installed on a laptop or can be installed on a, on a tablet. And people can directly cast on the screen and share the content. So in a school uh, where people can also use tablets to share experience and to explain or, or to, to have some work all together, everyone can show live what they are doing on the tablet and everyone, everyone can share what they do. We also have the whiteboard, so this is what I, I've just shown you, that you can have and come and work on the screen. And the other particularity, if the product is, is connected to, uh, to internet, you can have access to any kind of drive. Could be G Drive from Google, could be Dropbox, and you can have all your content saved somewhere in the server in the cloud and just call them back to, uh, to be used on the screen. Another interesting uh, thing is that this kind of screen is also having NFC sensor. Uh, so we have the possibility for every user to have specific settings on the screen. So, so when every the user, teacher every teacher coming, uh, he is using G Drive, is coming with his card, NFC card, just uh, tap. tap it on the screen, and all his settings, including the G Drive files, are automatically linked to the screen, and he can. Uh, collect what any kind of content he's, he's needing for, for his... Uh, so all the, all the homework from the whole, uh, all the pupils show up and boom, you can start seeing and, exactly. and doing, interacting yeah. with the homework. And, and the, the teacher is then leaving, so he ca the, the screen will, uh, will, go into, uh, will, uh, will go back into sleep mode and everything that has been done by this teacher will disappear. Next teacher is coming with his NFC card, he does the same and all his contents are automatically uh, um, uh, collected back into the screen. So, um, are you selling many of these or it's brand new or...? No, no, we, we have been selling those kind of products, particularly in the, in the very, let's see, early adopted countries like uh, uh, UK or, or Netherlands. Uh, in UK, we are already number three in the market, uh, using this technology to be sold in classrooms. And uh, in Netherlands, we are, we are number six, so we are growing up. And this technology definitely will also be spread in other countries. And this will be a, a strong competitor of the, of the UST projectors, definitely. And the small, there's also another one? The there? smaller one is, 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 uh, is from a cooperation uh, with Google. Uh, this is called the Jamboard. Uh, this is a product that has been developed by, uh, by Google. And definitely this is part of the Google Cloud solution. So this product is a kind of, uh, if, I, if I may say, an interface between the, the cloud and the physical world. Everyone coming uh, can come, put his Gmail address, and all his contents are also linked to the screen. So everyone working into the, 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 the Google environment can use the screen to, uh, to collaborate, to uh, upload these contents, but also at the same time to have uh, remote collaboration because every screen in the same orga Google organization can be connected to each other. So someone, for example, in Amsterdam today can collaborate with someone in New York in real time on the same board and everyone doing something 
and each other, each of them can see what the other is doing in in real time. So they can brainstorm in real time together. Exactly, exactly. And this is using Chrome or Android system, right? Android system. Yeah, this uh, is using Android and system. BenQ was the one doing the Jamboard. BenQ since the is, the, is the only one to have a Jamboard since the beginning, and, really and we are the now? only Three we are the years. only distributors. And we started two and a half years ago. And uh, yeah, we, we've been ha we're having a, quite an interesting success in key countries uh, like UK, France, uh, even Netherlands. US? Uh, US, of course, but we are not taking care of US yeah. in this region. But US yeah. definitely is the, the biggest success. This is uh, Google's country. So uh, yes, definitely this, uh, this product has been a great success. Has and, uh, uh, Google considered using other display technologies like uh, something like e-ink or because BenQ could be working with other stuff too? Exactly, but uh, at this stage they decided to work with BenQ for different reasons because uh, BenQ already had the, the right channel. We all had already had the experience in B2B. We already had the experience on, on large format displays. So definitely it was a, let's say, win-win collaboration between Google and BenQ to, uh, to launch this product in the market. Is this similar to the other one? This is a similar to the first one that we discussed, but smaller size. This is 75 inch and this one is 86 inch. But they are definitely uh, same design, uh, same kind of uh, embedded software solutions. All our range is very consistent from uh, 55 inch up to 86 inch. So that, uh, that 4K projector we were, we were checking out before, it's very impressive, but um, uh, if I jump over here. So 4K 5000 lumen. Does that mean it's 5000 the price or? It's, it's, a little bit more, it's a little bit more because it's 4K resolution. So this product is around 7000 euro uh, list price without tax. Yeah. So um, can we hope for soon to come 8K projectors? Definitely, this is a trend. Uh, we have very strong relationship with uh, Texas Instruments as we are the, the number one DLP brand uh, in, the, in the world. So definitely if, if a 8K in a, in a smaller chassis, uh, 8K uh, chipset is coming, will be one of the first to launch it in the market. Because uh, TIDLP is doing very impressive oscillating where it vibrates or so something like that, right? Yeah, where exactly. It takes a 1080p and turns it into 4K. Exactly. So you, could you, in theory, take a 4K and turn it into 8K? Yes, yes, definitely. This is just a question because everything goes very fast to make a, a, a 4K resolution from a, a 1080p chipset. It needs very fast movements. So uh, definitely with the improvement of technologies, this is something that can happen in the in the coming months or years. Because this solution is uh, is using one of those oscillating Definitely, this is a, right? this, yeah. This is a 1080p chipset inside, and uh, the output on the screen is uh, is 4K uh, 4K uh, resolutions. And with 5,000 lumen, it's probably one of the brightest with this solution. Uh, the for for this chassis, yes. Definitely, very compact chassis. And uh, BenQ is also doing really good in the consumer projectors. Yeah. So we are, uh, we are not showcasing here in uh, in uh, ISC because it's a, it's a more B two B B two B exhibition. Yeah. Uh, but definitely yes, and uh, and the trend is a higher resolution. So 4K is is like kind of picking up, uh, even if price is still more or less uh, a, a stopper for many people. But we are having products with very interesting pricing coming to the market uh, before this summer uh, for the for the Euro Cup. This is always uh, interesting to have uh, uh, this kind of uh, big event to, uh, to have new products. And, uh, and the next generation is also interesting because you have seen the ultra short throw projector that I showed you for the education. Uh, we will also have very soon uh, a home cinema version of this product. So people can definitely have a very nice design because the design will be more, uh, let's say, consumer style. You have a small box on a, on a furniture just in front of a wall and you can have a 120 inch image just at around 20, 20 centimeters from the, from the wall. So this is a new trend that is coming to uh, not to replace TV but to have another way of having very big screen at home with very high resolution. Can we hope for the Euro Cup uh, or, and the Olympics 2020 to have, uh, let's say, 799 4K consumer projector? No, not from BenQ. Not from BenQ. 999. So I'm, I'm not going to push too much. <laughs> but uh, you said it's going to be an interesting price, right? Yes, it's going to be around 1K. Yeah, 1,000. Okay. Yeah. It becomes like a no-brainer soon. Everybody should get one. It's the best way to experience 4K. Yeah, it's exactly. using a projector with a, no? with a big image. Yes, yeah, it's uh, much more affordable than having a, 
a 98 screen, uh, screen LCD, uh, the price levels are much higher so far. Yeah.